Hey, lovely people. Welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarok. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Sagittarius, uh, Sun, Moon, and also Rising Weekly General Tarot Reading, February 7th up until uh, February 13th, 2022. And if you wish to skip... Uh, the card draw and you want to move right away to the reading itself uh you can definitely do that using the timestamps in the description down below uh other than that if you do enjoy the channel content here and you do wish to support us all you gotta do is just hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell uh so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well uh live streams all right so with uh, that said uh making the draw now the first card which uh, stands for you sagittarius uh, that is going to be the six of uh, swords uh followed by the second card of uh, the devil uh moving next we do have uh the queen of uh, cups i don't know why i was about to say the queen of pentacles it's uh, the queen of cups uh the fourth card of uh, your spread sagittarius for the week is going to be the uh seven of uh, swords and uh, the final one uh that stands as the eight of swords so we do have those five cards here okay so these five cards god that's so difficult to make the fun um uh, those five cards but also i want to draw one more card for the uh, Queen of Cups, just so we know uh, how that person really stands with you, and the card is going to be the High Priestess. Lovely. Okay, so um, this is pretty much the draw, and now let's jump right away into the spread itself. All right, Sagittarius, uh, so you can see your spread here on the screen. And right off the back, uh, that is a uh, that is a week of building up some kind of a courage that we do have here, and also uh, a week where um, and I don't know how exactly to put it into words, but uh, it's something like a week where you are to realize, especially towards the end of it, uh, that at the end of the day, uh, it's if you don't primarily take care for your own well-being. Uh, nobody else will in a way that you can and i'm saying that it is because at the start of the week uh here with uh, the six of swords and especially as a follow-up that we do have the devil card just like that uh it seems that you are gonna come up with something now i vaguely remember that we had that combo or like or rather like that follow-up for another star sign as well but there there was a different follow-up to these cards so they read differently but here it seems that you're going to come up with something uh that it will kind of feel very appealing to you it could be that you may come up with a move that you want to do kind of like changing house or you may come up with idea for a business you know or whatever it is it will feel not just only very appealing but also when you do imagine uh the its progress and not exactly its progress let me fix my mic here uh, and not exactly its progress but what will what will bring you at the end it will feel like at this point or at this moment that thing it's um that you're gonna come up with it's uh everything you want at this stage it may relate to another person as well it's just it could be literally everything but you should consider it as a, a yearning at this particular moment whether it is a money you know whether it is a a, a love for example as well uh the thing that we do have the six of swords uh, there at the very start of the week it is the sheer thought of it is going to scare you for many reasons for one which is certain is that it's going to scare you because you never done such a thing before and you feel yourself unexperienced you are to be afraid of the unknown what consequences is going to bring you and so on and so forth but also the lesson that one needs to learn from the six of swords it is that if you do have a dream just thinking about it is not enough to get you there i mean real actions are needed and that's why you know what you're gonna come up with is gonna happen to be for you at least at that stage an unexplored shore unknown land and whatever figurative meaning you want to give it 
uh, it's a threshold and in reality there is nothing for you to be afraid of at least of trying to 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 make it work uh, and uh, once you do make up your mind or rather like once you do build up a courage to do so you are to see that things are gonna go really smooth for you we are having the devil afterwards here which is from the mid towards the end of the week and that to me at least it does look like that these are very very initial maybe tiny some people even may consider them puny steps that you are to make into that direction which you have been afraid to do so beforehand um, now that I think of it could be that you are building up a courage to approach person you have interest for for a very very long time but the devil kind of promises you that you are to be in control of the situation, at least for the time being, and there is going to be just a progress. <clears throat> and not just only that the expectations you do have about the development of the situation are going to be met, but as well, it will feel like it is your thing. There isn't really much that can be said about this card as a follow-up to the Six of Swords, other than that you are to see yourself towards the end of the week, whatever you hope for, it is about to come true. It is coming true. It's not quite there yet, but it is, it is coming true. However, the whole thing kind of is bringing its own consequences. And at some point at the middle of the week, you are, for what it seems, going to uh, kind of like hold your horses a little bit. A name to cancel yourself with that person that we do have, which is the Queen of Cups catalyzed by the high priestess uh, these are a passive uh, supporters a very powerful elemental dignity that is a person who is ready to take a bullet for you that is a person who is ready to go through the nine circles of hell to help you that is a person that is going to be a cold day in hell if they are to forlorn you if they are to to abandon you in general so uh, it seems that you are going to talk extensively with that individual, the Queen of uh, the Queen of Cups. That could be your wife or a husband. Cause it doesn't have to be a woman, right? That is just a archetype of character. So it could be your wife or a husband. It could be your parent, for example, or why not very best friend, right? But the thing is, is that this individual. They not just only understand what you're going through and what is at stake here, okay? They also fathom your happiness, they fathom your feelings, they do fathom your status as well. It is like they are living what you are living through without them being in the situation at all. And uh, rest assured here, whatever discreet information you do have to share with them, it's, it's pretty much going to be kept safe and uh, if not anything else with them you are to feel emotionally stabilized in one way or another and it's it's going to be just if you do need a shoulder to cry on there it is the shoulder for you to cry on but if you do need encouragement as well there it is your encouragement which i believe that is going to be the latter rather than the former and so once these uh, conversations pretty much end here with the queen of uh with the queen of cups by the way guys make no mistake that person deep deeply loves you it's it's just it's, it's beyond any explanation here that is more than just than just love it's it's just a uh, uh, you do have a faithful companion for life here with uh, with this one uh in any case uh, once uh, the um conversations with them end and you kind of like make up your mind how to proceed it's pretty clear at least from the seven of wands here that one of the two things are going to happen based on the conversations you're going to have with the queen of uh, with the queen of cups now the one uh, manifestation the first manifestation of the seven of wands it is that you are to take a really strong status in position positions towards your situations and show very very strong backbone and spine as well not allowing people to take advantage of you in generally anymore and additionally demanding for what you had been owed by that particular or owned owed by that particular point i mean uh, if for example you are uh, owed respect 
you are going to demand that respect to be paid up to you. Uh, it will take some storming. What I mean is that you will have to storm your situations like slamming your fistfuls on the table and saying, I do not deserve, I do, I do deserve so much than this. Whether it is within your relationship or whether it is within your career. Uh, the second manifestation of the Seven of Swords, it is that after the conversations that you are going to have with that very faithful companion of yours, uh, you are going to realize what I said at the start of the reading, that at the end of the day, you know, if you don't do something for your own happiness, nobody else will, not because people don't want to, but because only you can take care of it, okay? Only you can make the moves. And uh, thus, uh, the Seven of Swords may stand for that you are going to start moving towards your own agenda. Uh, not exactly abandoning, but kind of like cutting loose mm. other people's agenda from your plate, at least at the moment. Now, I know that, you know, people interpret the Seven of Swords as a betrayer, as a betrayal, lies, being deceived. Uh, that is only true uh, when there is a promise in it, okay? Because uh, th this is how it happens, because the Seven of Swords, if you do observe the card here, the guy is walking away from a war camp, or at least that is into the traditional deck, taking on five swords, leaving two behind, meaning that the guy takes only what he thinks he deserves. He does not take everything of, uh, of what he can. And that is the demand for what you have been owed. And he is leaving the war camp because the guy decides that and realizes that's not his war. His war is somewhere else. He doesn't need to lead the battles of others if nobody is gonna is going to take on his own battles. So he has to do something for himself, right? But if the guy promised or pledged to the war camp, then it is a betrayal. Yeah, it's a lie, but not necessarily, okay? So, uh, yeah, and, and that is literally how the uh, how your standpoint is going to be towards the end of the week. And once that standpoint becomes true, uh, your eyes are to be opened. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Your eyes are to be opened here with the Eight of Swords that we do have at the end. So, the Eight of Swords, it's, uh, it's a very, it's quite of a double-edged card. Uh, the, on a negative note, this card puts a quite of a, a disruption into the communication. What I mean it is that it is simply it is very difficult for you to go through people, not because you can't explain yourself well, but it is because people hear what they want to hear. Okay, and especially this card is especially malicious if you have to pass a message. You, you tell a friend of yours. So they tell to somebody else, or they pass the message to somebody else, and it's just they hear what they want to hear, and they say what they want to say, and it's just the third party um, uh, hear something completely different of what you said. So towards the end of the week, if you have to say something to somebody, don't use messengers. Just go straight into their face. On a positive note, the Eight of Swords is the card where uh, Tao realizes that there are self-imposed limitations, like, for example, leading a battle that it is not yours, and that those uh, limitations Tao has to bring down, and that is going to open up their world. And uh, the uh, not the follow-up, the but the consequence of it it is that should you entering into the week you are to feel uh stuck like having no options available uh like uh kind of like being very telegraphed into one thing being told what to do and so on and so forth and just in general you don't know what to do by yourself you are going to figure this one out and by the end of the week you are going to have your liberty you are going to have your freedom and as well independence not just only that but your uh, options available are going to be gradually expanding as well so with that being said sagittarius uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh, for february 7th up until 13th um hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we are to see each other next time i hope until then bye